Well, the time has finally come. It's Christmas Day. And Merry Christmas to all of you that celebrate this holiday. And even to those of you that don't. If you celebrate Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or Festivus for the rest of us or whatever the hell you celebrate. You know, my best to you. Happy holidays to all of you. And thank you to everyone that has taken part in watching and being a part of this 12 Days of OTR Central Christmas video series. It's been a lot of fun to do. And as always, if you haven't enjoyed it, well, humbug on your ass! Because I have, and I think plenty of other people have enjoyed it as well. So, what to talk about today? It's the first day of OTRS Central Christmas, which technically is the 12th day, because it is Christmas Day. Like, what the heck are you going to talk about here? Um, and I guess I'm just going to take a couple of moments to thank all of you. Because, you know, 2020, I think for a lot of folks, mostly everybody, has been a year full of challenges and pitfalls and struggles and certainly is not any different for me. I um, feel very fortunate and very blessed to be able to have my primary job still and have that going well um, and still be able to come on here and do the YouTube stuff. Like, I feel very fortunate, like I said, and, and very, very, very lucky, very blessed, very appreciative of what I do have in a, in a time where I know a lot of people you know, their lives were somewhat, if not dramatically, markedly changed for the negative. And my heart's really go out to them because I know throughout my adult life, for sure, and I certainly as a child, um, certainly understand that feeling, that experience of feeling like it can't get, it just can't get right no matter what, or the bottom kind of falling out, and times are tough and times are hard, and I'm here to tell you that they absolutely can get better. And sometimes it sucks. And sometimes you get tested. And sometimes you get tested an awful lot. And and admittedly, life is not fair. It just isn't. It unfortunately seems to find a way sometimes to test the best people the most. But maybe that's why those people get tested the most and the most severely it feels like because they're the best. And they're best equipped to deal with it and handle it. And if you take the right approach and the right mindset, you, you could become that much better on the other side for having gone through that experience and in a year like this you know as I came back to really like 2020 the early part of the year like I was so buried in my shoot job my real world job that I wasn't really doing much here on YouTube which is a shame on me you know this provides me balance and many other things um, but to be able to really come back around August and be able to come back and get in the rhythm of doing regular videos again even over the past five months has been a lot of fun it absolutely has been a lot of fun for me. I have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it too, uh, because I I know that for me at least, um, I really really appreciate the fact that there are ev there is even one person out there, let alone a few thousand, that care or give a crap at all about what the hell I've got to say about something like professional wrestling, or on my other channel where I talk about sports like. It's it's an awesome and somewhat humbling feeling and awkward feeling at the same time, too, but um, I enjoy it. I enjoy interacting with you guys, even when I talk down to you sometimes, even when I say dumb crap, or you guys certainly say dumb crap. I, I enjoy all of it. Like It's crazy to me that life has put me in a position where I can interact with people that are in Canada, that are in Japan, that are in Germany, that are in the UK, like all Australia, all over the freaking world. Like, that's badass, man. All the negative that comes with the internet, that's some of the positive things. Like, people around the world that I would never have any reason to interact with, and they would have no reason to ever interact with me. I've been able to have interactions with, and so many good and wonderful ones, even throughout the year of 2020. And I hope for you guys that I've at least been able to be some form of positive distraction. I hope that this channel has brought you uh, at least some entertainment or at least some meaningful killing of time at a time where you really probably needed it. I hope so because I can certainly say for me that it has brought me a sense of fulfillment getting back into doing the YouTube stuff consistently over the past few months has reminded me of what matters. It's reminded me of the importance of balance in life and being able to pursue passions that it's not just work 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 all the time and even if other things in your personal life aren't the best, 
or aren't where they want you want them to be. It doesn't have to be the be all end all. It doesn't have to define you as a person. There are other things that you could do to help pursue pursue your happiness. And I could say, you know, myself over the past few months, I feel a little more fulfilled as a person. I feel a little more satisfied. I feel a little happier with who I am and where I'm at in life. And you know, that's in no small part to being able to come on here and do this. And you guys certainly are a big major contributing factor in that. So again, sincerely, deeply, from the bottom of my heart, I thank each and every single one of you uh, for that. Whether you enjoy every video that I do and every tweet that I put out, or some of them, or absolutely none of them, or you just come on here to rant and rave and bitch at me and call me this name and that name. Like, I, I hope I have provided meaning and positive distractions for each and every single one of you. And, you know, you're also thinking about it now, like, as I get ready to turn 40 in March, I've been doing this YouTube thing for a decade now, between the old channel and the new channel. Like, it, 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 Lots of memories have been hitting me the past few weeks, and I've been doing a lot of reminiscing. And, um, you know, it's nice to be able to go back and think about some of those good times, and a lot of good times that have come out of the fact of watching something as stupid as silly as professional wrestling and being able to come on here and get people to actually give a crap about my opinions as something as stupid as silly as professional wrestling. Like, that's that's something, man. That really is something. Um, you know, is this channel where I would like it to be or want it to be? No. Am I going to work like hell to get it where I want it to be and where it should be? Yes. But if it never does, would I be okay and satisfied? Yeah, pretty much. Because like a decade of my life has been tied to this in some form or another, and a lot of good things have happened in my life because of it. So when I think about things like the holidays and Christmas and the new year, like this is the type of stuff I think about. And I'm like, you know what? It warms the cackles of my heart a little bit, I got to say. Um, so one more time, thank you, everyone, for everything that you've brought to the table for me in 2020 and over the years. You can certainly feel free to share your stories in the comments section about um, how long you've been watching this channel, where you're from, um, what you enjoy about this channel, like what got you starting to watch this channel, what's the first video you remember watching if you remember it. Because I've, I've enjoyed over the years seeing some of your stories about, you know, I remember that video because that's the one that may be a subscriber to your channel. Like I kind of think that's cool. Like hearing some of those stories. I don't want to necessarily hear some of the stories, though, about, hey, I used to watch you while I'm in middle school, and now I'm married with a kid. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel old, a-hole. Hey, I was watching this guy when I was 15. I'm 25 now. That old guy's still doing it? Yeah, I'm still doing it. <laughs> and I get some of that sometimes, and that's also kind of humbling, too. Because you realize, there's, it's in, in some some people's cases, like you've been a part of their childhood, <laughs> and it was somebody you were somebody that was important enough to them that they took time out of their days as a kid or as a teenager or as a young adult and invested it in you. And I feel like sometimes, frankly, I haven't paid that the respect that it deserves. I feel like, frankly, sometimes I haven't given you the full value that I should have for that decision, that dedication that you've shown. And I will work like hell, I promise, in 2021 uh, to be even better. I, you know, I've ordered new lighting. I've ordered a new laptop. I've ordered a new webcam. I've ordered new wireless mic. Like, I'm going to invest more. Like, it's time. Time to move out of the freaking Stone Ages. Time to look a little more big league. Stop being lazy and just using the backdrop here of this closet, you know, in the man room and actually go back to using, like, the room I'm in right now is one of the three bedrooms in this house. That's just the room that I record the sports channel videos in usually. Uh, so you got, you know, the Jordan and basketball posters on one wall. Then there's the baseball stuff on the other wall. And there's the uh, um, football stuff on the other wall. And then you go into the downstairs, into the kind of, lower level because it's a tri-level house and then I've got the wrestling set up there so you know I feel like 
I need to get back to doing that, like really investing in this more. So uh, thank you to all of that. Um, so I guess one more time. Thank you. Uh, happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks to those of you that have watched and I hoped enjoyed this 12 days of OTR Essential Christmas. And again, with all peace and love in my heart, if you didn't, humbug on your ass. Uh, apparently, I've got one email that just came to me that I, I did want to read really quickly as we close. Uh, and make sure you tell your friends they should smash that subscribe button. And like, if you haven't, you probably should too. Um, let me read what this says. It came from in a name that I don't recognize. To the one called Schleg Daddy who still sucks no matter when. Just know that in the year 2021, what's old will be new again. What's old will be new again. What in the Sam hell does that even mean? Hmm. Eh, probably nothing. Probably somebody just playing a prank on me. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I'll try to get to the bottom of what the heck what's old will be new again even means.